Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 19th of July 2022 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. And remember these readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So let's see what we have for the day. So we have the Two of Cups. My bond between two people can be friendship can be love. With that we have the Four of Wands, the Fool. I've got two cards there, let's go with it. We have the Empress and the Four of Cups. The Eight of Coins and the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck. I've got the Nine of Cups. This is such a lovely energy. So there's connected love. Um, the Two of Cups is a deep, deep connection, soul connection, uh, very powerful spiritual card. It's a lovely energy of, of, of two people who are like two peas in a pod. They just go together, you know, they just have that connection. You really don't have to say anything. I mean, if you bumped into somebody who was your Two of Cups, be it a friend or love romance relationship, you would just have that instant attraction, that instant connection, that instant recognition with this other person that, you know, they are your like-minded soul, your kindred spirit. That is that kind of energy. It's a lovely, lovely energy. This feels like about a relationship here. It feels like someone's thinking about proposing or offering something here. Because this is, this is moving in the right direction, the Eight of Coins. We've built something solid and stable and secure. The Four of Wands is, you know, and this is moving in the right direction, feeling very comfortable about how something is evolving. You know, the value of it, the stability of it, really building something for the long term. With the Four of Wands, happy home, happy family, uh, can be about property, buying a property, uh, might well be for some of you that you've you've been working towards buying a property but this can also be about the home the family the relationship so for some of you this feels like taking a minute mean, taking things to the next level uh the the four of wands is is very good in terms of relationships the security and solidity of four corners very celebratory energy can be to do with celebrations so marriage, engagements, reasons to celebrate for some reason. It feels like someone's anticipating how something is going and things are moving in the right direction. And it might well be that you've been slowly working towards this, but someone's ready to take the leap of faith, the chance here, because this is the energy of, of I'm ready. I am ready to just jump straight in and move to the next level. This feels like a proposal of some kind. The Knight of Cups is somebody who is, is vulnerable and open because they have that trust, that, that, that reciprocated trust with the other person, somebody who can be open and vulnerable with the other, the other person because I feel that this feels like knowing, knowing what the other person is going to say so let's go for it. The, the Knight of Cups is a proposal of some kind. Uh, someone's going to take that leap of faith, that chance that starts a brand new path. This is really an energy of if, if somebody has been cautious up to this point and things have been slowly building and moving in the right direction, this is that feeling of, oh, you know, throwing caution to the wind and let's just go for it, offering proposals of love. Because there is a feeling here of somebody thinking about doing that. 
the Four of Cups, thinking about reaching out and offering potentially their empress. The empress can be somebody who represents beauty, somebody who see they, they see as beauty and attractive and, you know, everything that they want, you know. So there's definitely this energy with the empress. It could be a person. It can also be uh, the birth of something new. It could be both. Uh, the Empress can be about new or next level love, romance, relationships. It's Venus, which, you know, um, the goddess of love. So a very lovely energy. Now, the Empress can also be linked with childbirth. So it might well be for some of you, things have been moving forward. It could well be pregnancy may have made somebody think, let's do this. It's not limited to that, but it might well be for some of you. Uh, pregnancy, starting a family, let's put down roots for the long term. Either way, it just feels absolutely lovely. Somebody has been thinking about that, but in the near future, it looks like they're going to make the offer. And I say make the offer, it sounds transactional, it's not. It's, it's uplifting, it, it's to do with heart energy. It's happy, positive, huge, happy, positive changes and celebrations. We have the Knight of Swords, communication, a conversation. With the Nine of Cups, celebratory energy, sharing your cups with everybody in celebration. The Nine of Cups is happiness flows, uh, reason, again, reasons to be thankful, celebrate. All those cups, each of those cups is, is filled. Uh, you know, this is a bountiful energy. This can be, you know, a, a significant party or celebration of some kind happening here. Uh, but it could also be for some of you, the Nine of Cups, someone gets their wish or everybody gets their wish. It just feels a very connected energy of just being really, really happy. Just a lovely, lovely reading. It feels like someone's planning this, planning some kind of happy surprise. And it's a proposal. Just lovely. Okay, I'm going to grab the fairy cards. So what do we have as a final message, please? Angel Spirits Guides, final message for the day, 19th of July, 2022. It's interesting, I've got precious time. There's almost kind of like a timeliness about this. It's just like, I don't want to wait any longer. Someone's ready, lovely. Um, the fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Yeah, lovely reading. Congratulations if this is for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it useful, helpful. I wish you a wonderful day and I will see you next time.